This tutorial is going to be covering the MacroDuck Advanced Model 3710. If you look at the top of the instrument, there is a charging port where it says power for connecting the charger to charge the batteries. There is a USB port for exporting the data to a computer or to a flash drive. There is a connector for your electrode set. And there is a power button. This is used to turn the device on and off. If you press and hold the power button, the boot up screen will come on and it will go through its boot up sequence. And this will take about a minute for it to boot up fully and go to the ready screen. Now if you press the gear icon, it will take you to the settings screen. And if you press on the system button, that will allow you to test the system. Press the functional test. Now you place a pilot gel disc between the red and black electrodes. And then press the forward arrow button and it will test the instrument. You can see that the instrument's already detected that there was a cable connected and that there is a gel placed between the red and black electrode and now it is testing the ionophoresis system. Okay, it passed the test 100%. Everything's working as it should. Now you can X out of this page. Go to the summary logs. Now this shows you tests that have been run, uh, whether there was enough sweat, the operator, the test, the kit lot number, whatever information is entered, um, the date, the time. Now you can exit out of that screen and go to the system logs. And this will show you all of the logs, all of the information that's been saved from all of the previous tests. Now if you press the export button, it will bring up your export screen to where you can export it to a computer or you can export the data to a USB flash drive. Mix it out of that screen. Press the home button. Press the question mark button. Now this is a help screen. You can press that question mark at any screen that you are in and it will give you the help information needed for that page that you're on. There's also a battery charge level indicator showing you the level of the battery charge. If you go back to the gear icon, you can go to the date and time. And this will show you where the, you can set the date, the time. You can set it for a 24 hour day or a 12 hour day clock which I've saved it as a 12. Now you can hit the back arrow. You can go to power management. This is where you can click power save. You can adjust the screen brightness. You can go to the calibration. And this is where you calibrate your battery indicator. Uh, you may do this if it doesn't seem accurate enough. You go to language. There are six languages you can choose from. You just highlight the language you would like. Hit the back arrow and it is saved it. 
Now you can go to the options. You can make, force it. You can make it so there's a password protect. So you have to have a password in order to access some of the information. You can put, click on the tap sound so that you hear when you touch the screen with your finger. You can require the operator and test information and kit lot number if so uh, wanted. And you've got, got a simulated test which you can do and it will actually walk, walk you through a complete test. I hit the forward button, shows you the ionophoresis supplies required, you can enter an operator, test name, now you choose the limb that you're going to test. You clean that limb with alcohol and then DI water. You attach the red electrode closest to the wrist, where that's the highest concentration of sweat glands. You put the black electrode on with gels attached, and then you hit the forward button and it starts the test. Now this test, the ionophoresis, runs for 300 seconds, 5 minutes, and then it'll shut down. Then it tells you to remove the electrodes. Wipe the, the arm with DI water where the electrodes and pilot gel discs were placed. Now your collection supplies needed are shown. You attach the collector where the red electrode was, and you wait for sweat to be shown in the tube. And you hit the start button, and this starts the collection time. The recommended time is 30 minutes. You can stop the time any time that the sweat has passed the mark, the two marks on the tubing or before the sweat starts running out at the end of the final circle of tubing. At the end of 30 minutes, you stop the test. And you lift the outer tubing winding and you pull it up so that you can see the level of the sweat. The tubing, if the sweat's above the top mark, then you've got plenty of sweat for the tests. You insert the needle in the end of the tubing, but you have it pulled back halfway before you insert it. Then you cut the tubing off and remove the collector. Wipe the skin with DI water again. Then you'll clean the electrodes with alcohol. Now this summary shows you that you had more than, you had sweat above the second line and everything is good. You turn the simulated test off, go back home, and that is the introduction of this instrument.